What's up, what's up, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, everything, Alex. <laughs> and... Tajanae. The, and, best, the ooh, best friend. Amen. The only friend. Because she lonely. You don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back at it again with another YouTube video. So I'm not even finna do that whole intro thing. Oh, God. I was, I was ready. I was gonna be like, Oh, you ready? Oh, okay. So we're gonna do it. Okay. So before we do get into this video, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. You know, all of that. Hey, all of that. Hey, hey, all of that. Hey, all of that. <laughs> and make sure you do keep wanting to coach all 2020. Gang, 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 hit it for me, can't stop, hey, won't stop, hey, dunna, dunna, that, that was too long, I ain't even gonna catch you, but I'm so hungry right now, so, um, clearly we're doing a mukbang, we got, um, Mr. and Mr. Krabs, Mr. I said Mr. and Mr. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Krabs, plus community, amen, <laughs> oh, don't bring them up, they be getting real mad over it, they crop it out, everything, <laughs> they get mad over everything, and then, um, what is this right here? Tijuana flat. Tijuana flat. This is some nachos. So, what do we want to eat first? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm set up both. So, like, I'm gonna put the nachos in the middle so that we can okay. kind of eat both at the same time. This one a little bit short. But it's okay. <laughs> it's good. All right. So, so hungry. Throw your shells in here. Oh, you want more? If you get on my carpet, I do not. This care. is like, this looks like a party nacho. She did say that it was big. Is this sour cream good? I never had this sour cream. Good. Don't know if sour cream is good. Um, Taco Bell, I ain't Taco Bell in like three years, but they started pretty disgusting. Taco Bell's is Taco Bell be shit. hitting hard. I haven't had Taco Bell since college. She said it's cheese on here. I see a little burnt. Don't they? It's the. Don't they? Grab some French. I don't know what's <laughs> These not all that. They uh -uh. nasty. They nasty. I, no, because I like like real like cheese cheese. That's straight. Like I like the actual melted cheese. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm getting from a Sam's Club that big old. You know what I'm talking about? No. What? It's a big old thing of cheese at Sam's Club. You put it on your nachos, in, like you oh, put it yeah, on the yeah. stove first, and then put it on your nachos. It's not half bad, but it's not. I'm good, girl. Gonna eat my Taco Bell's on better. I'm gonna eat my Louis A. from over here. Eat everything that's left over. Waste well, not, what not? Don't waste food over here. So we got like little mukbang topics. So we just gonna you know talk and eat. You know just to make this. Like y'all here with us. So if you aren't eating, don't be weird and just like watch us. I mean, you can, you can listen. Oh, you got a fork? Uh, go in there and get you some chip. You, know, you got a fork in there? Plastic fork over here? Oh, you got a real know. fork? It don't matter. Plastic fork next to the cups. And the real fork's in that drawer. Don't make fun of me. I ain't got, I got my big silverware and my little silverware together. Hot mess. Um. Ow. They could go get them some chips out the kitchen or something. But that makes sense. Eat, watch, eat while you're watching the month thing. I know, but sometimes I just watch people eat. You no do. cap, I ain't even cap. You just called your views out for watching this eat. I know, but. No, like, because, like, I be liking to listen, like, who I watch? I watch I Am Zoe when he do his mukbangs. I do too. And I just be listening to him. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you've seen the one. He just did a mukbang with, um. Look at that little bit of meat now. For real, I hate those little end pieces. He just did a mukbang with, um. Who he did one with? B Simone, them. B Simone and, um, Pretty V. Last one I watched that he did with it was so funny. I don't be like when people be when they be bleeping out the stuff. Like, don't bleep. Say, what, talk your shit. Say what you gotta say. What they would say, cuss words or something. Mm-hmm. They talking about somebody and they split out their name. Mm-hmm. Don't bleep it out. They talking about first time like Emmanuel. Um, uh -uh. talk your shit. Spoken reason. You heard? Emmanuel spoken reason. Glad you Jerry. Girl, I had, when I got on Twitter, there was this thread of this girl that he did wrong. So like everybody started listening no to No cap, but this ain't even that good. It's, it's not like, like, fight. like, it don't, I don't know, it don't really taste like, like, I feel like I got more oil or whatever they cook this in. Yeah, yeah like, like seasoning. Like, you seen that sauce that you get at a Chinese place to dip the chicken in? Oh yeah. That's what it like. <laughs> like, it's not terrible, but, um, Crafty Crab is better. See, now you think the opposite. She think this is better. I like both. I don't, you know, I'm a greedy child. What's our topic? Let's get started. You start. It's your right. channel. Hot seat, hot seat. Mm -mm. Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got my phone. It's right there, but I don't feel like taking it. Me either. I'm trying to think <laughs> what my first topic is. Okay, since I know mine, I'll just go. Okay. So, my first topic is um, I want to talk about gender roles. Because I'm sick of it. Gender I'm. Roles. 
I'm sick of it. Like, and like, I'm sick of people thinking that, um, what I'm sick of y'all thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of people thinking that, oh, the man's supposed to pay the bills and whatever, whatever. And that's just the whole, like, that is the basis of how every relationship is supposed to be. And I don't think that's true at all. Like, I feel like when, when it comes to like, a relationship to each his own because everybody ain't the same mm -hmm. at the end of the day someone gonna someone gonna make more money than um one of the other right, like right. it's just bound to happen so i don't think it's fair to like um you know put that all on the man and be like oh well you so you supposed to be the like i feel like the man is yes supposed to be the provider but i don't think providing just sticks to monetary need right right because okay i'm gonna say me for example i don't my, my relationship not like that i feel mm -hmm. like me and my boyfriend we go half and half baby you putting in the same contributing factors because nine times out of ten when the when the woman let the man be the quote-unquote provider is so they want to say then right. when the man right. don't want you no more you ain't even got nothing to your name because you wanted him to provide now look at you homeless like looking stupid i just i don't know that's just me, but I'm just saying, I don't, I don't think, um, I feel like every relationship gonna be different, right. um, so I don't think it's, like, the man's responsibility to, like, yeah, he's supposed to, like, be head of the household, period, like, but far as acting like we gotta suck, suck the man dry for all he got, <laughs> negative. I'm always in the gutter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nah, I definitely agree with best friend. She said what she said, but I think it's a teamwork thing. If yeah. you do bring it home the bread, you need to toast the bread. If you bring it home the bread, you need to toast it and put the butter Amen. on it. Amen. You got to put in that same effort or whatever. Just balance. Yeah, balance. like we can't be living off no nigga or living off anybody in general. Right. But you know, some people, they like they like that. They like those roles. Look, you do your thing, boo, but. They like it, you know, to each his own, like we said. But I think we in the new day and age. We're not stuck in those. I cook and clean. Like, yeah. I gotta do this and just lay on his behind. And you see, that's the thing. Like, and those same, the same people who be like, oh, the man's supposed to be providing. They don't be, they don't be, um, that way see through to me. Ain't no meat in there. Hey, man, look, just, that's how I was. They making me mad. I said, where's the food? Is we gonna give a bad review? <laughs> what are we doing? Like, no, this is my first time. This is not a good day. See, I ain't get crowds the last time I went. I got mm -hmm. shrunk. But yeah, that's how the, um, I feel like that's how the females be with their men. Mm -hmm. Like, they be wanting the man to provide, which is all fine and dandy, but it's not like, oh, when, when the man get home from his own day at work trying to provide for you, like, you got food ready for him to eat. You don't got, no, 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 no. You seen that post when the girl cooked for her man, and I guess he ain't cook, she ain't cooked within the time frame that he wanted her to cook in, so the food was a little cold. Ooh. And she went off, he went off on her. Now, that's ungrateful. Her, his favorite meal, he's talking about. You should have cooked this a little bit early, a little bit later. Nah, baby, you should have got here. You should have got here in time. You get here. She posted pictures of the food. Ain't look all that good. Ain't gonna lie. But she posted the little pictures of the food or whatever. Look at me, Jack. The people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, she posted pictures of the food or whatever. You should be happy that she cooked for you after being home dealing with your kids. Yeah, that's just ungrateful, right there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, gender roles are sick. And you know what? A lot of these parents don't teach their kids. To get out of the you know routine of gender roles, mm -hmm. cause monkey see monkey do. If I see my mama sitting there cooking, cleaning, slaving for a grown man, that's what I might. Do. Yeah, I'm, until I be like, that's yeah, not what I'm it's doing. like you gonna think that's what mm -hmm. you're supposed to be doing. It's like no, no. Till you get out there and experience something for yourself, like oh, this ain't for me. I want tip to tag. <laughs> <laughs> I give you, you give me. <laughs> right. I guess it's my turn to start. One thing I don't like. You ever heard the quote? You ever heard the quote like? Hurt people, hurt people. Mm-hmm. We know who we hurt. But <laughs> let me stop playing. <laughs> yeah, stop playing. <laughs> so I believe to a certain extent, extent, whatever, that could be true. But the thing about it is I don't want you to use your hurtness as an excuse to hurt other people. You know how it feels to be hurt, so why would you continue that cycle? I just don't like that at all. Like people try to use I me being in the psychology field that I'm in. I understand that there are a lot of factors that go into mental health, you know, your social life, your financial life, life circumstances, genetics, because you know certain um, mental health disorders are hereditary. But I don't think you should use your past as an excuse to be a butthole to people, because sometimes it's not even like an emotional thing. You're just being a jerk overall, and I don't like that. I feel like people like that, like mad immature, because like, bitch is corny, like, 
If you don't like somebody, just don't like them. You ain't gotta do the most, just you know, to right. show somebody that oh I don't like you like that. Like I feel like that don't just mad corny. I don't make no sense. Cause if you know how I feel, then why would you do that to somebody else? And I feel like people would be trying to use that as an excuse. Mm -hmm. Like the reason why people be hurting people, they try to use the excuse, oh you can't trust nobody. Well you keep it up, baby, you gonna be alone. Cats. Oh. In your house. <laughs> Look, some people want that though. Cat woman. That junk corny. I mean, I honestly couldn't imagine life alone. I, I, don't, I don't think you were meant to live life alone. We're human beings. We need social. This social distancing. Killing some people. Mm hmm. That my professor said, turn your camera on. I need to see what you look like in class. <laughs> <laughs> Unmute yourself. Talk to me. What y'all did this weekend? But, yeah, that goes bouncing off of what we was just saying. The people that have been in, you know, bad relationships in the past, they bring that toxicity, I guess I'm saying it right, into their current relationship or future relationships. And it's just, it's a cycle. And that, and Everything. honestly, that's just how they, they even ruin, ruin their relationships, honestly. Right. Like, yeah, no child, shrimp, or girl. Greener the air is great. They're playing. <laughs> if you want something, I'm sure you can have some. Mm -mm, I don't know. I have too much shrimp. Do you want some of my lobster? Mm -mm. I told you, Baltimore. Oh my gosh, you could try this one though, but how you said that wasn't lobster mac. This ain't lobster mac. I could see if this was lobster mac and you was like, nah, fuck it. I ain't Let me get a little piece. See? I'm greedy. You gotta be open. <laughs> open <laughs> book. <laughs> so they, they cut it in half. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like it, then just. Is it good? Did you try it? I didn't try it yet. Oh, well, you try it first. No, because even if I don't like it, if you it's probably. Nasty, it's nasty. If you, yeah, like. If you, <laughs> if you don't want to just give it back. But if you say it's nasty, then I'm probably gonna take it nasty too. Girl, I can't cook. You got the degree. But I'm saying that that's the point. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. If you say it's nasty, then it must be nasty. I'm taste higher. Every hairstyle is not for everybody. Let me just say that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, no matter. Dior, Dior. Mm mm. Make a belly. Uh uh. And I'm gonna say every hair color too, cause we gonna cut that out. We gonna cut that out. Yes, okay. I ain't trying to throw shots at nobody, but I do like clearly I'm black and I love like, you know, black is beautiful, period. Mm -hmm. But baby, everything and even with my color, everything just don't go with everything, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna pretend that it does, cause it does not. And it ain't cute. You're <laughs> <laughs> making me mad. It's a long rip. And I, I people get on my nerves when they be like Oh, why y'all like dark skinned girls can't do this? Everybody always trying to say, shut up! It ain't, it just ain't cute. Ain't nobody trying to be funny. Ain't nobody trying to is isolate nobody. Certain things just ain't for certain people. Same way how box braids, to me, in my opinion, box braids don't really look that good on white people. Y'all look silly. <laughs> Take them out. The girl was a TikTok, this girl got some plaques. She took her hair, all the hair was going down the drain. She said, that's why the hair wasn't made for you, sweetie. <laughs> it wasn't made for you. You're not supposed to be getting your hair done like this. It's just, that's just simple. Everything ain't for everybody. Or when they say, you know, the whole, the controversy of white, white women getting weed, they talking about, ooh, you know, how you feel like, like When, they be like, um, y'all, when y'all gonna stop wearing our weed and stuff like that, talking about, when y'all stop wearing our hair, um, I wear Brazilian, you know. This is not belong to you. Malaysian, no, we're Caucasian. Ain't, you ain't never heard nobody say, oh, can I get the white, white people hair? No. <laughs> no. And then the braids, like, that's horse hair. That ain't, um, the braided hair, can they belong, can they belong, what else called? Mm -mm. I just feel like, um, now this see some cute braids, like, the girl we did, we don't give to girls, I ain't gonna name. She had got some braids and it was cute, um, to the scalp though. Like, you know how we get feet in, they did yeah. real hair and it was cute. Cause she had to help for that. But when we just do the most. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like culture appropriation is like a thing? You feel like that's a thing? Of course, same with like, people walk around with, Certain, um, like the hijab or something, and that's not your culture. I yep. think that's disrespectful. Or a turban or something. I, think that's just I feel like the reason why white people don't really see it is cultural appropriation because white people ain't got no culture. Child. So we can't we can't take nothing from y'all that y'all ain't even got to begin with. Girl, you shaking the table. Don't do it. Just shaking the table. <laughs> Child. This junk is spicy. How are you supposed to eat no this crap? This thing. You need to, yeah, like, you're doing it right. You got to take it out of the shell. We breaking. Oh, I don't like how this look. It reminds me of like an insect or something. Oh, I'm gonna look at that. Um, 
Yeah. All they do is steal stuff. Let me stop though. Let me be quiet. I mm. this. You like it? Just tastes like crap for me. Yeah. It's fine. I wish it was easy to get into, you know. I was stuck. It's pretty good. But, um, yeah, everything ain't for everybody. Club, certain club. Oh, Lord. Bless the. I'm, I'm, I'm for the big girls. So for the thick girls. But some of the clothes. I wouldn't even wear. Look, coochie cutters. Uh uh. Yeasty, just be yeasty. And then I hate when people be like, in it, like in that sense too. When people be like, oh yeah, I don't say no when the skinny girls wear. So okay, yes I, do. yes I do. It's a complete difference for me seeing a little, a little, a little queen ant um camel toe. <laughs> but then if I'm seeing a a a, a subway five dollar foot long camel toe, that's completely different. So I don't want to see it. What they call it a fupa? Oh, even that too, like. See, big, some big girls, all, I, I believe all black is beautiful. And some girls are aware of their bodies, you know what I'm saying? They know what they should be wearing, they know what they should not be wearing. Mmm. And I'm not trying to act like, um, like, even like, I feel like skinny people, they do that same thing too. Especially like when they be wearing the little, the bikinis, not the bikinis that they make nowadays. It's going all the way up into your into your private area. Are you comfortable? <laughs> For real, that is nasty. What is you doing? Mm -mm. We're not comfortable. <laughs> I'm hurting for you. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, it's just not. And then fashion, okay. I feel like certain people, like social media influencers, um, famous people, etc., could wear something. But if my little basic. Nine to five behind. Walk out the door with what they got on. They gonna say what? Mm -hmm. They got on. They gonna be like it's ugly. Mhm. Mm yeah. I now feel like I say Rihanna wear it is cute. I feel like a whole bunch of the like designers and stuff, like the designer clothes everybody been wearing, it'd be ugly. Most of it would be ugly, mm -hmm. but because they got money and it's supposed to represent money, it's cute. Like mm -hmm. no, it's ugly. You got the wrong. It's idea. ugly. Just like how okay back in the day, but this one that's not really the same. But no, back in the day at Walmart. Champion, ain't no you, bro. That, those were bobos. If you was wearing champion, bro. you was poor wearing champion at Walmart. Re Not all, all of, all of a sudden, champion is a new thing. Chamber brother be champion down. Mm -hmm. Them emoji on mm -hmm. jumpsuits, them, the little print, the matching print jumpsuits. Don't mm -hmm. play them. <laughs> mm -mm. You, you right though. You right. But Walmart wanna come up. Shout out to Walmart. This they ain't, ain't sponsored. This ain't sponsored. They, Walmart got some real cool clothes. They said don't play with them. One stop mm -hmm. shop. <laughs> Literally, you want something to eat? Go to Walmart. <laughs> Need the part for your car? Go to Walmart. <laughs> Need some drawers? Go to Walmart. Except for that bakery, though. Mm -mm. I ain't never ate from bakery. Don't. Don't even waste your time. What's wrong with it? Oh, I have had a Walmart cake. Oh. It's just not. It's not Publix. That's just the only problem. Oh look, everybody know what Publix is. That's a southern thing. I don't go. I think the furthest it goes like South or North Carolina or something. Mhm. Mm Come on, our cohort sister from Texas. She know what Publix was. First time having Publix was in St. Augustine. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's weird, though. Like, how certain places don't really have certain things. Like, like we'll have a, what, a Cane's or in and out Burger. All the little places in California. This is supposed to be mild, but this is spicy. It's too. very hot. You would think um, Florida would have more stuff because we like a, a tourist state, mm -hmm. a retirement state, but they don't really have that much stuff. Well, to us, it's not much. But for people that's not from here, want to go to Disney World every day and stuff. Speaking like of Florida, I'm sick of people trying to act like Florida super crazy. But y'all, the same people who want to try to act like Florida crazy, Florida this, y'all be the main ones trying to vacation down here. Don't come down here. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Leave us alone. Leave us not. Girl, Florida man. The little Florida man um, news articles and stuff like that. The little headings. I ain't going to lie. This is Crackhead Central. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some beautiful parts of Florida and there's some rough parts of Florida. Yep, and that's just like with any other place. Like, so even don't cities, come for us. Even cities within Florida look better than others. Like, you got good parts of Miami, rough parts. Good parts of Tampa, rough parts. And that's just like, I, I don't know if you, you know Charlamagne the God? Mm-hmm. He, um, he, when he be doing his, like, donkey of the day, <laughs> nine times out of ten, it be somebody from Florida. Um, but he just be like, all the crazy people come from, like, New York and all of Florida. So like basically everybody in Florida crazy. Mm -mm. I'm just but like back to Papa's. 
you can't sit there and put us all under that same umbrella because there are subcultures within culture. Because mm -hmm. Polk County is its own thing. Let me just say that. Oh, oh, you know what I'm so tired of seeing on TikTok? They be making me mad. What? On TikTok, they be like, um, they be, it be real cringy though, but it be making me mad. They be like, oh, what, um, what area call you from? Mm hmm and they want to try to come some 954, you know, that's like down south, Maybe 305. Yeah. For one, baby, not to not to just, you know, remind y'all, but y'all down south Florida, y'all got more cases of corona than the rest of us. So, oh, you shaking the table, girl. And I live down there, but just don't, like, don't don't come for central Florida or north Florida. When y'all got more cases, talking about oh, who, who most lit. Don't nobody be saying 863, I'll be pressed. Cause somebody wanna represent C A C three. We so got the athletes. I be having to go over there and I be commenting eight six three. Where you at? Don't mm -hmm. put me. It's a lot of talent in eight six three too. Mm hmm. Nah, it ain't for everybody. <laughs> everybody wanna be a dope boy. No. Mm hmm. It's not for everybody. I actually seen a real hillbilly yesterday. In like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a real hillbilly. I don't stay here. Tulsa. It's for somebody you stay. Yeah.